Our congratulations to Sydney. Q and D senior night against Jacksonville. Strange thing happened. An injury to the regular Jacksonville keeper. So all stater from basketball and volleyball. That young lady, Jalen Keene, took over as the keeper and she was dominant. Of course, she's also six foot two. That helps. Took till the final minute 30 for Q and D to break through. That is your golden goal, courtesy of Cassidy Foley. Q and D wins in a squeaker. One to nil was your final. Also, Quincy High School. A little more comfort level in their victory at Beardstown today as Sierra Woodard had a hat trick to lead the Blue Devils to victory. Q and D baseball traveling to Liberty today. One aboard for Zach Bailey, just going to put the ball in play, and that, my friends, is going to score. Tony Stella make it a five to one lead at that point. However, Liberty would get out of the jam right here, turning the six four three double play to kind of end the uh, threat at that point. Still, Quincy Notre Dame's offense potent today with the long ball. Julie, Joey Pollock, Kiel Bergtorf, Adam Hudson, all with home runs. Johnny Ray, who you see right there, pitched a dandy 12 to 2 year final in favor of the Raiders. Let's wrap up with some scores tonight. Quincy High School across the street fell behind early, tried to come back. Courtesy of Ben Miro, couldn't get it done today. Blue Devils lose 13 to 7. Central beats Payson 4 to 3, but drops a game to Canton. Reese Carmichael for the Tigers had four rubies in that ball game. Route winning over Calhoun. It was the Justin Ketchum show. He had the pitching victory and a triple to the cause. And Hannibal's outstanding pitcher Eric Hugenberg with nine strikeouts in the shutout of the Marshall Owls. In softball today, Central and Grigsville Perry split Bray Gennenbacher with a home run in the first game. Mackenzie Flowers played the hero in the second. It was Payson Seymour too much for Pleasant Hill. 15 to five year final there. And in college softball, tough start for the Leathernecks in the Summit League softball tournament as they drop a 10 to two decision to IUPUI, which means the Leathernecks are now in must win territory the rest of the tournament. Coming up tomorrow, we may well finally have a name for you for the Quincy High Boys basketball job. All right, we'll be right back.